So this week I'm actually starting a new little mini project that I actually wanted to try and do a long time ago, but I just never had a chance to actually start it just because of other stuff. So I've been wanting to do this uh, macro algae ecosystem in a jar project for a while. I've actually had these jars uh, sitting around the house for almost like a year. For the jar size, I actually have small all the way up to large. For this one, I'm actually kind of using like maybe like a medium small jar just to kind of try this out. Today was actually kind of perfect because I have to do a water change on the reef system anyways. And I'm going to basically pull water from that system just because it's fully cycled. And the water parameter is actually dialed in. And also, I'm going to use the live sand in the system as well. So since I'm pulling established um, material from a system that I know is fully cycled, so this jar is basically going to cycle almost instantaneously. There might be a few um, small spikes here and there, but these critters um, that I'm going to be keeping in here are really hardy, and they should withstand a lot of these spikes. So obviously I'm going to be keeping some macroalgae in this jar. I'm going to be uh, trying out some dragon's breath and also some Kalarpa. So most likely I'm going to be trimming off the Kalarpa just because I know it's going to take off like crazy um, and eventually just move on to just strictly uh, dragon's breath in this little jar. So for the livestock, I'm only going to be keeping pods in this uh, little jar. I may end up keeping one snail or two snails in this jar depending on uh, how bad the algae gets on the actual glass. I actually was not planning to put any live rocks into this little jar here, but uh, I noticed that actually in my system I found a little frag piece that actually contained uh, a few mussels that was attached to um, some frags that I had bought a long time ago. And it's just cute little mussels. And I figured I'm actually going to use the little mussels in this jar as a filtration. If you guys don't already know, uh, clams and mussels, they kind of are like the filters of like the ocean. They basically filter water through their body, consuming, you know, um, different algae, different things that are in the water, making it clearer and cleaner. Since this is a jar, I'm not going to have any filters in here, and I figured let's go ahead and just use these little mussels as mini filters. So since it's kind of winter time and the sun isn't really out um, and the house is kind of cold right now. So for now, I'm going to actually keep this jar under um, the sump of one of my tanks. Uh, just because there's light there, but eventually what I want to do during spring and summertime of next year I'm going to actually take that jar and just kind of put it next to the window and Basically let the sunlight um, kind of like power this little ecosystem So I think this is actually a pretty cool nifty little project. Um, I do plan on doing something very similar uh, with Wabikusas again uh, in the near future with jars so uh, stay tuned for some of that all right guys and that is the update for the week if you guys aren't subscribed yet Make sure you guys are subscribed and like always until next time guys peace